Hey guys, Jake with HJ Sports. Super exciting day today. We're launching the Tetra and Tetra Max Rise bow sights for 2022-2023. Really excited to show you guys this. We've been working on this for a long time and excited to dive into some of the features of the Tetra Max Rise. So the Tetra Max Rise is gonna come available in all the different frame options that you're accustomed to seeing in the HHA uh, Tetra line of sights. So you're gonna get the uh, Tetra Max Hunter Edition frame. You'll get the long dovetail bar option as well as the short dovetail bar option. Both of those dovetails will be compatible with the Matthews Bridge Lock system as well as the Hoyt Picatinny mount. A couple different frame options there for you um, to choose which will work best on your, on your setup. So diving into some of the features exclusive to the Tetra Max. So as we've always known, Tetra Max is gonna have that removable yardage wheel. That way you can shoot multiple arrow setups. So that removable yardage wheel is a really nice feature uh, for the Tetra Max Rise, just because this Tetra Max Rise really is the ideal site um, for not only bow hunting, but also 3D archery. So being able to swap setups between your 3D rig and then also your hunting rig um, is gonna be a really nice feature for this site. Pin gap spacing is very reasonable on this site, quarter inch, which makes it ideal for most hunting uh, situations. For example, sitting in the tree stand, drawn back on a deer, he's at 20 yards, runs out there to about 35. Most guys, 35, you're gonna be really close to that 35, um, 35 yards on that second pin. So about 15, 15 yards in pin gap spacing. Um, no need to let down, stay at full draw, make the shot. So one of the most common questions that I've been asked as we've went through this whole process is, where's that second pin gonna be at, you know, in relation to my first pin? So if the top pin's at 20 yards, likely that second pin's gonna fall somewhere between 30 and 40 yards. Really ideal for hunting situations, and that was something that we really kept in mind when building the site. So another feature that kind of came with that was having that second pin lower in the scope, we're able to get out to farther distances. So for the Tetra Max and the Tetra Rise, we were able to create some longer distance yardage tapes. This is something that we've been working on for a long time, I've been testing for quite some time now. Um, but we were able to make some adjustments to our tapes, get some further distances, so guys can take the Tetra Max Rise and the Tetra Rise, take that out to the range and use that on the 3D course and then also just out in the backyard. The Tetra Max Rise, you're gonna be getting out to distances of 120, 130, 140, 150. Um, so just making sure that we're, you know, verifying that we got arrow clearance. Going to be an awesome site for hitting the 3D course with uh, here this summer, shooting out to longer distances. Within the Tetra Max, you're going to also get a couple more options to choose from. You'll get to choose between a 10 or a 19 thousandths pin, which has been the same for any of our Tetra uh, line of sights, as well as the color for your second pin. So that top pin will be green, but the second pin you'll get to choose either yellow or red. Uh, the one I have in my hand right now is yellow, um, but red will be um, the standard color. So just as it was this past year when we came out with the infant adjust plate, uh, infant adjust plate will be on the front end of the uh, frame connecting to the scope. That way you can get independent second access and elevation adjustments. Any inline mounting option, whether that's um, a Picatinny mount or it's the Matthews bridge lock with the dovetails, just flip that plate around and you'll get more windage uh, with that. All Tetra Max sites are compatible with our full line of accessories. So that'll be our lens kits, our sunshades, um, as well as our blue burst light. Another exclusive feature to the Tetra Max is the ability to add our blue burst 2500 light over the yardage wheel. So all of our Tetra scopes, um, you can add the blue burst light to the top of the scope, but the Tetra Max Rise, you will also be able to add that light to the top of the yardage wheel. Say you're hunting in a ground blind, and you just wanna get a little bit more light on that tape, great option to go with there. As all other HHA products are, all of our products are 100% made and sourced in the USA and they carry 100% lifetime warranty. Um, so if you ever have any issues, by all means, reach out to us and we'll take care of you. For more information, you can visit our website at hjsports.com.